our everlasting father and our god in the name of jesus we come before your throne of mercy yes. this morning with thanksgiving mm -hmm. we honor you and we exalt your name dear yes. lord you are a faithful god mm -hmm. even when you do not know how our tomorrow look like yes. lord you order our steps mm -hmm. and i want to thank you for this morning thank you for the dear listener yes. thank you father god for your people mm -hmm. as we share this word lord i pray it shall find a place in their hearts in the name of jesus yes. the lord you shall lift our faith up in the name of Jesus Christ. We yes. commit ourselves to you. Mm. I commit my dear sister to you this yes. morning. As we, we share together, Lord, mm. you will inspire your people. Yes. You will move in their lives, oh dear Lord, yes. to the glory and honor of your name. Mm. We commit ourselves to you this yes. day, even as vessels in your hands, mm. that Lord, you shall use us yes. to minister to your people, yes. even the glory and honor of your name. Mm. In Jesus' precious name, we do prayer and believe. Amen and amen. 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 Thank, Thank, you. Pati. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I want to introduce yeah. this uh, series of walking by faith mm -hmm. by first and foremost uh, underscoring the essence of faith. Mm -hmm. As I had alluded earlier on, I say that Christianity really is a matter of faith. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, so faith is an essential aspect of our Christianity and it is therefore indeed the means and the end of our salvation. Uh, Jesus did pose a question to his disciples yes. uh, in Luke chapter 18 verse 8 and they asked the question when the Son of Man comes mm. will he find faith on earth? Wow. That's a thought-provoking question yeah. to all of us this yeah. morning. Of course we pairing in mind the context of that text. Mm. He was talking about persistence in prayer. Yeah. And there's this widow who used to go to the judge for her justice to be meted, and she kept on going, yeah. going and going yes. every other day. And the judge who did not fear God eventually decided to give her justice yeah. to this lady who was so desperate. And then at the conclusion of that story, Jesus finishes by asking his disciples, when the Son of Man comes, yeah. will he find faith on earth? In other words, what pushed this woman to go again and again, mm. it was her faith. Yeah. She had faith in God that if I continue to persist, mm. this man would actually grant me the justice I'm seeking for. Yeah. So what I am saying and encouraging us, we can persist in prayer and that's a sign of faith. Yeah. That's a sign of faith. But then it's important to understand what is this faith all yes. about. Yeah. Uh, what is faith? A lot of people talk about, I have faith in God, I have faith in this and the other, mm. but what is it all about? Mm. Especially the Christian faith we are talking about. Yes. Because we have different kinds of faith mm. as well. Uh, in fact, the book of James talks about demons have faith. Yeah. And uh, there is all kinds of faith. We have faith in many things. Mm. We have faith in our banks where we keep our money. Yeah. We have faith in our children, our husbands, mm. and uh, all kinds of things. But what is the Christian faith? Uh, my anchoring text really is uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Mm. Uh, we shall be referring to that text because it really talks about faith more like that than ever any other scriptures in the script in the mm. Bible mm. so I want to ask to turn together if you may yeah. uh, so that we can look at chapter 11 of Hebrews and the verse 1 it kind of gives us a description of what faith is all about and uh, I will read for us this uh, scripture and then I will elaborate a little yeah. bit just to help us to get the foundation foundational understanding of what faith is. I will read about three versions of the Bible okay. and uh, one of the reasons why I do that yes. is that one version of the Bible may not be sufficient mm -hmm. to clarify a matter. Yeah. So it's good for us as Christians not only just to rely on one translation yes. but we can have multiple for purposes of clearer understanding. Mm. So I begin by reading using NIV mm -hmm. version of the Bible uh, verse 1 says of Hebrews chapter 11, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Mm. That's very interesting. Yeah. It's the confidence we have on what we hope for. Mm. 
what is the confidence do you have this morning what do you hope for this morning what are you seeing as a possibility this morning yeah. because a lot of time we wake up into a morning like today and we don't have any hope mm -hmm. our hope is lost yeah. because of what we went through the 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 previous day or through the night yeah. so i want you to have your hope up lifted up indeed yeah. the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see yeah. that's also important mm. and in a short while i'll be elaborating some of those yeah. new living translation says the following mm -hmm. now faith is being sure we will get what we hope for wow. being sure you are certain wow. i will get this job yeah. i'll receive my healing yeah. I will receive the open opportunity wow. for my business. Mm -hmm. The assurance that I am sure I will get what I hope for. Yes. It is being sure of what we cannot see. Mm -hmm. Again, the aspect of it's yeah. not about what we see. It's not about the natural human senses. It doesn't depend on our human sense. Yeah. And uh, the other one that I really loved most because mm -hmm. it expounds a little bit yes. and trying to read, really give understanding of the different aspects of this uh, passage, mm. the Amplified yes. Version of the Bible. What does it say? Now faith mm -hmm. is the assurance and it puts into bracket the following mm -hmm. to uh, expound for us a little bit that aspect of assurance. Yes. is the title deed. Wow. Can mm -hmm. you imagine of that? Wow. And when you have the title deed, you know you own this thing. Mm. You have this portion of land. So the title deed, a confirmation of things hoped for mm. and these are divinely guaranteed that our father in heaven has guaranteed that these are the things i will apportion my children mm. my child my daughter my son and that is you and me yeah. praise the lord Amen. divinely guaranteed wow. and the evidence of things not seen in other words the conviction of their reality that these are uh, the conviction you have about these things are actually realities. Yes. Faith comprehends as a fact we cannot be ex which cannot be experienced by physical senses. Wow. And that's what we are saying this morning about faith. Wow. Now let me uh, uh, point uh, highlight a few things about what we have just read in yes. that passage. Yeah. What stands out for us? What stands out for us in that mm. passage we have read? Yeah. Number one, I see something to do with confirmation yes. of that which you hope for, an assurance indeed, mm. an assurance. Yes. So this morning, all that we desire for you is to have an assurance Amen. on that which the Lord has promised you Amen. today Amen. and the days to come. Uh, somebody by the name David is a preacher, is a pastor, mm -hmm. Gusik, he says the following, yeah. that just as faith uh, uh, just as our physical eyesight rather is the sense that gives us evidence of the material world yeah. faith is a sense that gives us the evidence of the invisible world so we have the physical world mm. what helps us to explore the physical world to explore the possibilities of the physical world is our eyesight yes but faith now explores another world mm. which is not visible to us in the natural sense yeah. and that is what faith does mm. to give you the possibilities of the invisible yeah. and that's why people like the which i have also highlighted yes. on the book of hebrews chapter 11 it records to for us heroes of faith wow. and yeah. it says the following that these men of God, men of faith, mm. they saw the promises of God afar off. Yeah. Now that was beyond the physical realm. Yeah. It was in the spiritual. They saw them before they came and they embraced them as though they were here with them as a reality. So I want you to visualize. Mm. I want you to see something that the Lord has promised you, yes. but currently it's not happening or mm. has not happened to you. But you see it as a reality, as a confirmation that this will actually come to pass. Amen. The Greek ideas, I love touching the Greek ideas, yeah. especially mm -hmm. in the New Testament, yes. because it was written originally in the Greek mm -hmm. text. 
the Greek ideas gives us this uh, this uh, ideas yes. or presents to us these ideas about confirmation or assurance. Mm. It talks about a substructure. Mm -hmm. You know the structure of the construction. Yeah. yeah. That substructure, that is like when you have put you are putting up a house. Yes. And you put the substructure. You really know that there is a house coming up here. Yeah. So there is yeah. an assurance in that respect. Mm. It is a foundation. It talks about also idea of a foundation that which has actual existence so when you see a foundation you know there's an actual existence yeah. of something some structure which is coming up yeah. and that's one of the senses of what comes out from this uh, passage we have read number two oh, yes. contentment contentment mm. something has already been dealt with mm. god has already dealt with your case God has already guaranteed you success. Mm. God has already guaranteed you his blessings. Wow. You know, yes. it's a matter of now you access them by your faith. Yes. You know, yeah. uh, remember the many miracles Jesus did. Yes. Uh, all the time he kept on saying, mm. your faith has uh, healed you. Yeah. You see now, you, we have healing already at our deposit. Mm. But now, how do we access it? Yes. We access it through our faith. Wow. When we have faith in God, yes. then we receive that which He has promised us. Amen. Uh, and, and that's another aspect uh, which stands out from this passage. Mm. But number three is conviction. Mm -hmm. That we have conviction that even if somebody discouraged you mm -hmm. about something, yeah. you're not going to get this baby. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. It can't be possible for you. Mm -hmm. But you have a conviction beyond yeah. all those discouragements. Oh. And you go. it goes beyond your senses. Yeah. You know, sometimes we depend on our feelings. Mm -hmm. How it's are you true. feeling this morning? Yeah. I'm feeling down. So yeah. you are discouraged. But faith goes beyond our feelings. Oh. It oh. actually has a conviction mm -hmm. and assurance yeah. on that which God has said. Oh. Uh, somebody asked, yes. whose report do you believe? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Wow. So whose <laughs> report do you believe yes. this morning? Yeah. Do you believe in the report that yeah. you have received, discouraging reports you have received around mm. from maybe your doctor, yeah. from uh, whoever, yeah. that you will not make it? But what does God say about that situation? Amen. I would rather rely on what the Lord yes. says about this matter. Amen. Amen. That is what brings conviction. Mm. That we rely on what the Lord has said. And what the Lord has said is basically his word. Mm. So when I think about sickness, yeah. I remember his word which promises us, by your stripes yes. we were healed. Yeah. In fact, this is the past tense. Wow. You were healed. healed. Wow. It has already happened. Mm. Remember, we said it's divinely guaranteed. Yes. So it has already happened. Now, how do you actualize it? Yes. By your faith. Wow. So it's not about saying, here I am, but how do I get healed? Yes, I know the Lord has said it, but you actualize that yes. by your faith in the word of the Lord. Wow. As a matter of uh, having us go through this series, mm -hmm. I have a passage for us today, this morning, to consider, to yes. encourage you, to encourage somebody out there who could be going through some issues in mm -hmm. life. But I want to say that have faith in God as you are my message for you. Yeah. Have faith in God. Whatever it is you are going through, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. And the passage is Mark chapter 11, mm -hmm. verses number 22 to number 26 very very encouraging for me and I believe for you as we share together Mark chapter 11 and verse 22 this of course is a very interesting story Jesus and his disciples they were walking mm -hmm. by the way to Jerusalem and uh, as they were walking, Jesus sees a fig tree yeah. and Jesus cast, uh, wanting to get fruit from the tree, mm. but he didn't find any. What did he say? He cast the tree yeah. and the tree with that. Mm. Of course, the disciples did not recognize that yeah. until the following day. Yeah. So when they came back, they realized that the tree had actually with that mm. from the roots. And they wondered, how did this happen? Let me uh, begin it from verse 22. Have faith in God, Jesus answered, because you know the story really begins in up here in verse uh, 
that's really 12. Mm. It's good to read even the word of God together. Yes. You know, this yes. is life. Yes, the is. word of God is life. Yeah. You can rehear it. Mm. You can have it, uh, you know, play it. Yeah. You can do all sorts of things to have the word of God as much as yeah. of it into your spirit. Yes. This is what builds even faith. Faith Amen. comes by hearing mm. and hearing by the oh word of God. God. Romans 10, 10 17. Yeah. So faith comes by hearing the word of God. Mm. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, mm. Jesus was hungry, seeing that uh, uh, in the distance a fig tree in leaf. He went to find out if it had any fruit, and they reached it, and they found nothing but leaves, mm. because it was not the season of figs. Then he said to the tree, the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say that. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And he taught them in, as he said, it is written, my house will be called the house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. Mm. The chief priests and the teachers of the law had this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared and because the crowd was amazed at his teaching. And when evening came, his disciples went out to the, of the city. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the victory with that, mm. according to the word of Christ. Wow. It had withered from its roots. Peter remembered oh, and they mm. said, Rabbi, mm. meaning teacher, look, the fig tree you cast us with that. Mm. So what has happened? Jesus gave the answer in verse 22. Mm. Have faith. Wow. This yeah. mountain has moved. Yeah. How did it move? Have, Have faith. faith. Or how would it move? By faith. Yeah. This sickness will move by faith. Wow. This opportunity will open yeah. up by faith. So wow. God, Jesus categorically tells us, mm. have faith. faith. What is this that you are going through or you have been going through for a while? Have faith in God. It wow. shall wither. Mm. That which is not of God shall yeah. wither yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus told them, have faith in God. Mm. And truly I tell you, he adds the following words, which are very key for us this morning. Yes. I truly tell you, in fact, in Hebrew, mm -hmm. it's like making a vow. Mm -hmm. It's like taking an oath wow. that for sure yeah. this is going the case, you know. Mm -hmm. And they used to do it three times. Truly, mm -hmm. truly, truly, I tell you. Wow. Now you're taking an oath. It's a serious yeah. matter. Yeah. Truly, truly, I tell you. If anyone says to this mountain, go and throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in mm -hmm. his, their heart, but believes yeah. that what they say will happen, it will be done for wow. them. And therefore I tell you, whatever, now take note of this language, mm -hmm. whatever you ask in for in yeah. prayer, yeah. whatever you ask for prayer, mm -hmm. Believe that you have received it. Wow. And it will be yours. Yes. It shall be yours. Wow. And when you stand praying, mm. if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Wow. This is a very interesting passage for, mm. for us for consideration. Yes. Jesus and his disciples, mm or rather Jesus' disciples heard him say a statement mm -hmm. yeah. and Jesus moved on yeah. you know matters of faith is not matters of checking whether something <laughs> is happening yeah. it's saying and moving yeah. on yeah. Wow. so Jesus says something to a, a tree he yeah. casts he casts it and moves on and then the following day the disciples realized something did happen according yeah. to what Jesus yeah. spoke yes and they have but uh, mesmerized mm. and they do not know how this happened but he gives them the the the, yeah. the way out yeah. of this so he points he, he responds by telling them have okay. faith in god mm. and uh, jesus used this to elaborate now on faith wow. again because he says that have faith in god then he says now 
for sure for certain uh, as well as well as three i say to you whoever says to this mountain now it doesn't depend who you are whoever yeah, it's yeah. about whoever wow and wow. that's why i love matters of faith mm -hmm. it's not about the big person mm -hmm. somewhere it's not about the caliber of mm -hmm. a person you are yeah. it's about the whoever's wow. who have faith in god yes. whoever has faith in god and then they can face their mountain yeah. and they tell their mountain to do something mm. to be removed and be cast into the sea and yeah. it will obey it will obey wow. them and there is something that he wants us of that we should not doubt mm. praise the lord Amen. In fact, let me say the following. Yeah. When we have faith in God, mm. great things are bound to happen. Amen. When wow. we have faith in God, yeah. great things are bound to happen. Mm. Because he says, you know, mountains are huge things, obstacles mm. on our way, yeah. obstacles to your success, yes. hindrances to your success. Mm. But God says, Jesus says, mm -hmm. if you have faith, you can command those to yeah. be removed so great things are bound to happen through faith Amen. Amen. James says this confess your transgressions to one another mm -hmm. in James chapter 5 verse 16 and to 18 confess your transgressions to one another and yeah. pray for one another that you may be healed mm -hmm. the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much yes. Elijah was a man with a, a nature like ours but he prayed honestly that it would not rain and it did not rain yeah. on the land for a space of three and a half years mm. and they prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth produced its fruit that's a single man who has faith yeah. in god wow. wow controlling the climate mm. what people talk about the climate yeah. change yeah. we can yeah. change that through faith Amen interestingly Amen. Amen. we can change that through faith yeah. your situation can change through faith mm -hmm. your circumstance can change through faith yes. there's nothing that it can cannot be moved by faith wow. with faith is the engine we need wow. Wow. through faith wow. great things can be achieved Amen. my personal life yeah. has been a life of faith wow wow i tell you where the lord has lifted me from mm. it's a journey of wow. faith going to school without money oh. and uh, getting the education to the level I received yes. by faith. Wow. Everyone kept on asking, how did you make it? Mm. It is trusting in the Lord. Wow. Trust this morning in this God. Amen. Believe in this God. Yes. There is nothing impossible with Him. Yes. Number two, prayers offered in faith brings great results. Mm. When we pray, in faith then we are going to receive great results verse 23 says that he will receive whatever mm. they ask for that's interesting yes that he will receive whatever they ask for mm. and of course let me put a caveat here mm -hmm. we don't ask just anything yes. and everything mm. in the name of faith but we also align ourselves yeah. according to the word of God. Yeah. So it's important for me to know yeah. to put this mm -hmm. forward that sometimes people think you can ask for anything mm -hmm. at any hour and receive it, mm -hmm. but we have to align ourselves in in the with the word of God. Wow, yeah. And of course another important thing is the relationship with mm -hmm. God. Yes. Because without the relationship with God you cannot just meet a stranger mm, on yeah. the road and begin asking them things mm. all right yeah. you only go to a friend and a trusted friend in this matter yeah. so you have to develop your relationship with christ mm. jesus and that's the beginning point mm. so i will even ask you to consider yeah. how is your relationship this morning with jesus oh, christ yeah. so because that's what really um matter also even mm. as we talk about faith yes you have faith in him and you have a relationship in him mm. so that really is very very crucial uh the word we have just read in mark 11 also wants us that there is an hindrance two hindrances really to 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 our receiving what we ask for mm. number one is the doubt mm. when we doubt that's yeah. where the problem comes in 
the mm. doubt and faith don't travel together wow. so we must choose which one do we go for wow. all right <laughs> we want to see that miracle yeah. don't doubt yeah. because doubt is what hinders your prayer from being answered mm. whatever you ask do not doubt no. that's what the scripture uh, uh, mentions in that passage we have just read that if you say to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and you do not doubt in your heart mm. and remember doubt is in the heart, heart. Mm. we may not see you doubting but yeah. we can see the moves you make yeah. Yeah. and we discover there was a problem somewhere yeah. so therefore doubt is one of the great entrances from receiving from God so we shouldn't doubt mm. God we cannot doubt God because what he has promised will come to pass and uh, none of God's promises fails Amen. sometimes they delay but yeah. they will come to pass they will surely come to pass Amen. I love one of the passages by Joshua yes. uh, the man of God mm. he said that all that which the Lord promised yes. us has come to pass all of them every single promise he made wow. to us it wow. has come to pass even you and me it will come mm. to pass Amen. it's only a matter of waiting mm. also there is a need of waiting yes there's a need of patience yes there's a need of trusting mm. like that example we gave about the persistent widow yes she kept on going and going and going because yeah. sometimes uh, christians because i've been a pastor mm -hmm. i've been a christian yeah. so i see how sometimes when we interact with people uh, i prayed for this matter mm. and i don't see any change so yeah. i've given up mm. or i will not pray any longer no it's it's about persistence can i tell you something yes you know persistence breaks resistance oh, persistence wow, wow. breaks resistance wow. so is there something that has continuously yes. been haunting you mm. continuously been an entrance sometimes this can be broken by persistence, persistence. by consistently asking god and trusting god yeah. that one day things will change wow. now think about abraham for example mm -hmm. god promises them a son yeah and 25 years later mm. that's when they see the fulfillment of the promise yeah. you can imagine of that mm. and sometimes people say oh that was abraham but mm. abraham was like you and yeah, me you know and sometimes we don't have the patience yeah. in this world of quick fixes mm. we really don't have the patience yeah. to wait for anything mm. we want to see something happening yeah. instantly but faith does not work like that yeah. it needs patience it yeah. needs uh, you know consistency and all that but the other entrance is unforgiveness. Mm. Is there something that you are harboring mm. in your heart? Mm. Oh, this one yeah. wronged me. Yeah. This one, I will not let them go. Mm. Just like that. I will, mm. They will teach them a lesson. Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, they will know which kind of a person I am. Yeah. No, mm. as a Christian, it's good to forgive people. Yes. And forgiveness is a great entrance to prayer. Mm. And whenever you start praying, mm. Jesus says, whenever you start praying if you have anything against anyone forgive him yeah. or forgive her yeah. praise the lord Amen. forgiveness is like you have done yourself a great deal yeah. because yeah. you have released yourself in fact the other person may not be aware yes. of what you are feeling yeah. what you are going through because of what they did to you but uh, if you want to really release yourself you forgive them mm. And if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven may also forgive your transgressions. But if you do not forgive, neither your Father in heaven forgive your transgressions. Now that becomes now the biggest interest to your yeah. prayer being answered. Mm. And even if you have faith now, yeah. then you will not be forgiven. You yeah. remember what Paul says, yes. teaching about love? Mm. Even if I have faith, that moves mountain yeah. but I have no yeah. love in other words I have not ready to forgive yeah. I'm not ready to let go then I, my faith will be nothing mm -hmm. so faith requires that we forgive faith requires that we do not have fear yeah. I don't know what your situation look like yeah. but I know the book of Hebrews mm -hmm. essentially was written for to Christians who are going through discouraging moments moments of turmoil and i look at the current situation in our nation 
and not only Kenya but also nations across the world. People are going through various kinds of challenges. These are tri the last days. These are the last, um, uh, you know, the last days as we can see, read the signs. We can see clearly that things are really difficult, more difficult than before. Uh, and that's why I felt this is really where we can encourage one another because yes. the book of Hebrews was written to discourage Christians so that they can be uplifted in their faith Amen. and trust God once more time. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage you this morning, yes. trust the Lord. Amen. Are you feeling like, oh no, not mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. What are they have woken up into? Yeah. The same situation, the same mountain, mm -hmm. but Jesus told his disciples, have faith in God. I will tell you how faith in God. Pearl Radio, the home of fresh and classic hits.